Hi guys. Hey. Hey. How you guys doing? Good. How's your quarantine going? Fabulous. <laughs> Consider and it. Yeah, no, it's actually not been too bad. I mean, I'm stuck with two amazing people, um, my girlfriend, Alyssa, and her sister, Erica. So um, we've just been like spending our time doing a lot of different creative projects. And um, I don't know, just trying to like find ways to distract ourselves from what's going on in the world and just, uh, you know, enjoying each day for what we have, you know? Absolutely. It's we are definitely in one of those moments where it can be very shocking, but we're forced into really um, going back and exercising our creativity. Sometimes you have to force people to stop touring. You have to force people to stop. Oh yeah, working. I was definitely one of those people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I I would play as much as possible during normal circumstances. So this is actually kind of a nice break. Um, I you know, and I actually had to force myself to slow down my pace overall. Um, and just realize there's like no more like urgency. There's not really like this, like I used to always just have deadlines upon deadlines upon deadlines of like, or little small little windows between tours, um, where I could get stuff done. And now it's like, I'm focusing more on like, you know, being mentally healthy and sleeping enough, which is great. <laughs> sleep is awesome. <laughs> and I, really didn't, I used to not sleep very much. Catch number one, one hobby season. during quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally so yeah it's it's um i don't know we're just trying to make the best of it you know absolutely you know i i truly believe there'll be a point where we will get past this and we'll just have so yeah. much gratitude in our hearts for the things that we've always taken for granted absolutely you know i i 100 agree uh, like uh, every single day i'm thankful for things that i you know just took for granted before so um it's definitely, um, you know, this is a life changing experience for humanity. So it's, um, it's the best the thing to do is just try to like focus on the positive and um, that's what will get you through each day, you know, make little goals and just try to have, try to have some fun, turn off the TV, don't watch the news too much because it's <laughs> kind of toxic. Um, I only and, let myself read one or two news articles every day. Yeah, otherwise I get overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, you just get like sucked in too easily. Otherwise, so easy. I just like swipe right and like look at the Apple News headlines and then swipe back away from it. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, yeah. For me today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're gonna order some pizza, apparently. I, I am gonna order some pizza. Unfortunately, they're not open right now. <laughs> uh, they open at 5 p.m. out here. It's uh one of my favorite pizza spots in Oakland. Actually, I think it's it's my top spot right now. It's called Creamwood. and they also have like great pasta dishes and all kinds of other That's stuff. That's amazing. So, um, but they deliver on, um, they deliver to my house. So, um, and it's not your typical like uh, pizza delivery pizza. It's like fun, like good restaurant, brick oven pizza. So mm -hmm. we're probably going to call right at five. I don't think they, they're delivering now, obviously, but um, they're, they're still open and, you know, it's all about supporting the, trying to continue to support the restaurants that you that you really like because everyone's going through it right now and struggling. Um, but we're gonna get probably at least like one pizza each, so we get That's three amazing. pizzas and then maybe like a pasta dip on the side. What were you guys eating earlier? Um, I like mowed down an entire bento. Oh, nice! I got some like chicken and fish, and I, I ate one of one of my two tacos from home state. Hell yeah. It's like a, a breakfast taco. Yeah. Are you guys mostly eating out or are you um, like, you know, finding ways to, to still like cook at home and stuff like that? I'm cooking at home. I'm trying to eat mostly as healthy as possible yeah. because I'm not outside as much. I mean, I guess I am kind of outside. Um, but yeah, I think I'm cooking all my quarantine supply, but there's really no shortage <laughs> of food, just toilet paper. <laughs> and eggs apparently yeah oh yeah, well, yeah and only the second time that i think i've ordered out since i got back from tour uh jeff my manager had bought a bunch a bunch of food um quarantine food and made a whole spread in our kitchen so that's kind of dwindling down at this point so that's yeah okay. i started we, we ordering food our, yesterday we put in our first like uh grocery order in probably like a few weeks because we ran out of like the fresh veggies and 
or down to the bare minimum. I like to have like a healthy smoothie in the morning. So we got a bunch of bananas like last month and froze them all and just tried to like figure out creative ways to be able to still eat healthy and not have to constantly make trips to the grocery store. That's totally. the, yeah. 